into the calendar year 2019. Manchester City in their back to winning ways. Tottenham Hotspur suffered a shock defeat to the hands of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Astonishingly, that was at Wembley. But then let them indeed take a look at them. Um, everything in total. And I have um, Gadaba Aruno, who plies his trader in Malta. That's the island of Malta. He joins me live on set to take a look at the um, football over the weekend in England since the season is still ongoing. And then um, indeed, uh, we'll be talking about this club side also, Zira United. Uh, I don't know, Gadaba. Good morning to you. Morning. Well, Let's take a look at them the season in the island of Malta. What was it like for you? I don't know, in the calendar year 2018. Yeah, uh, this season is really going good. It's amazing. Uh, we're topping after the, the first round. Okay. So, uh, and personally playing 10 games, 11 games and having seven goals, three assists. I think it's, it's a good year, really. Well, a good year for him. 11 games, 7 goals, and I'm um, looking forward to the calendar year 2019 with optimism. Let's take a look at the EPL. Um, the season is still ongoing while the Maltes League is on recess. Uh, Liverpool Football Club, the Reds from Anfield, will be topping the table going into the calendar year 2019. Yeah. How will you describe Jurgen Klopp's Jurgen Klopp and his players so far? Mm. Yeah, really, this is a very brand new Liverpool on the uh, Jurgen Klopp because... Uh, Normally, Liverpool are really not consistent, but during his time, uh, they are like a different team right now. So I think they're going to go all the way. Going all the way. Um, are you tipping Liverpool to win the EPL title? Yeah. Um, going into the calendar year 2019, from what you've seen so far in 2018. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget that on two different occasions, mm -hmm. Liverpool have topped the table going into the new year and yeah. failed to win the EPL title. They are the only yeah. club with such a record in England. Yeah, I, I know, but this looked really, really different from the previous years. Because if you, if you look at it, uh, this time around, they're not, they're not winning uh, based on <laughs> by chance or by luck mm. or something. Mm. It's, it's pure football and, and, and really uh, you can see that it's a team that looks like champions. Arsenal started the season on a very good note. Mm -hmm. But um, with the way things are going, some are saying um, it's not a different Arsenal from the Arsene Wenger mm -hmm. era. Will you agree with that? Or it was just owing to um, the better performance you know, from Liverpool that we've seen all through the season? Mm. Uh, no. For me, I think uh, it's a better Arsenal also. Okay. Yeah, because... Uh, they they played so well and uh, this this year i know the problem has always been like inconsistency as, as like as before but i think they are they are much better this year uh, liverpool liverpool this year uh, are really are stronger i told you so i don't think we should we should uh, rule out arsenal just from this defeat and other games this slip well, indeed, taking a look at results on Sunday, you have Chelsea struggling to a 1 0 victory over Crystal Palace. The way they're playing away from home. Burnley, West Ham United, indeed, Burnley won that game two goals to Neola. And it was indeed amazing for the likes of Manchester United and Manchester City. The Manchester clubs are indeed back to scoring ways. Um, yeah. Let me come back to you, um, Garba. Yeah. Uh, Malta, um, over the years, yeah. have had a lot of Nigerian footballers playing in the league. Yeah. I remember Call at some point in time there was um, Chukunyere in the BC yeah, and yeah. fondly called War War. He yeah. grew up playing football in Nigeria and all yeah, that. Yeah. Um, what is it like for Nigerian players today? Yeah, uh, really uh, the same person you're talking about. Okay. He's been amazing. Like since I came to Malta, before I knew him, I know the name. Like okay. they keep telling me about him and how he plays. He's really a legend there. Okay, in Malta. In Malta. What do they call him in Malta? Yeah, they call it. They call him same. They call him Wawa. Wawa. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the name from my Jigunle and in yeah. Malta is still known as Wawa. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. So because they find it difficult to pronounce the Chukunere and, okay. and all, but they know him so well. He's a good uh, player, and he have always been like a brother, elder brother, because he he talks to to us, and I'm close to him personally, so he encouraged me a lot and. He told me a lot of things that I need to do to, to get to be better. Successful. Yeah, yeah. In, in how many countries have you played in over the years, apart from Malta? Mm. I played in 
like five countries. Okay. Yes. yes. Then, then? Yeah, I played in Lithuania. Okay. I played in uh, <coughs> Poland. I played in Sweden okay. and in Dubai. In Dubai. Yeah. And now you're doing business on the island of Malta. Well, yeah. it's been awesome in date talking to you. Which club do you support and when are you going back to Malta? Yeah, uh, actually, I'm a Liverpool fan. Wow. And wow. I'm going back to Malta like uh, tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. Yeah. What we wish you the best um, mm -hmm. of luck in the second half of the season. Your team is topping the table out there in Malta. Yeah. And then you have seven goals in 11 games. And then we hope that in 2019, mm -hmm. you will keep finding the back yeah. of the net. So, indeed, it's been nice talking to you. God of Arunor on the um, TVC Breakfast Show. And then we wish you the best um, in the new year. That's the much we've got for you from the exciting World of Sports.